Hello again and welcome back to EZF Light Brown. Right, so I've undercoated this model Avalon Sunset. Then we're going to do a base coat of Barbarian Leather. Now I know you're probably thinking, why brown? But brown it actually looks quite good at the end. So if you know the old uh, Wolverine paint scheme, you could probably make space for me looking like that. And of course, these recipes, I'm using them on armor, but you could use them on leather or any kind of surface, really. You could even use it on capes. As you can see, these coat to arms paints I've said before, they're a bit weird. Sometimes they don't quite go on how you want them to, but this one's going on okay over this yellow base coat. stage is done let's have a look looks quite patchy I know but don't you worry about that so we're going to do another coat of barbarian leather Put a little bit of water with that, help it to flow so it won't uh, clog up the details. Like I said earlier, I think if you could do Wolverine Space Marines, they'd probably look quite cool. I might even give it a go. Now that second layer is dried, let's have a look. Still a little bit patchy, but it's okay at the moment. So now we're going to shade it with Seraphim Sepia. Get your large shade brush. We're going to go straight from the pot. Again, as I've stressed before in other videos, just make sure the coat is dry before you apply the wash. You can see where it's pulling on that shoulder pad. I'm just gonna move it about. See, like that, easy. Right, now that shade is dried, let's have a look. Still a bit wet in the recesses. 
can see here, but the shade has gone into the recesses nicely and toned the model down. So you're going to re-establish the base coat of Barbarian Leather. Again, make sure that, that shade is dry. I'm going to use a large dry brush. And get the majority of the paint off like a dry brush for this. Just want to keep some of that toned down uh, brown and then just broad strokes. You can see already with a dry brush instead of an overbrush, we're sort of slightly bringing that colour back up again. stage is done let's have a look looking nice I'm gonna to go to Baylor Brown Large dry brush again. And again, like a dry brush, so we want to get most of the paint off the bristles. We want to work it into the brush. So, about that point. And again, your broad strokes test it on your base to make sure you've not got too much paint on there. Just work over the raised areas, highest points of the model. You know the drill. Now that stage is done, let's have a look. See, getting there, shaded recesses, and then working up that colour. Now we're going to go to Zamisi Desert. You can see it's a little bit more yellowy brown. Use your small dry brush. Work it into the bristles. To about this point here perfect now we can be a bit more focused with where we're putting this so like the face a helmet crest top of the backpack corners of the pauldrons chest eagle and the top of the knee pads if you like Okay, just like that. Easy.